Hi, we're continuing our series of tutorials with this uh, TI uh, Inspire CX and using New York State Regents. Uh, this particular one is from the January 2015 and I wanted to show you how to work with some bivariate data. We'll read the problem and get started. A nutritionist collected information about different brands of beef hot dogs. She made a table showing the number of calories and the amount of sodium in each hot dog. Okay, we have our chart there, our table, and it says write the correlation coefficient for the line of best fit. Round your answer to the nearest hundredth. A couple important things here. We need to know what a correlation coefficient is, and we know that we have to use a line, so we're not going to use a uh, exponential function or quadratic function we're going to use a linear function there's a couple options there either one will work okay and after that we need to talk about uh, what the correlation coefficient suggests in the context of this problem uh, we'll come back to that shortly let's go to the calculator okay I've already entered uh, one column of data to save time and you'll note that we are in the spreadsheet table view we generally start there when we're entering data now I'm gonna depart from this problem a little bit to show you some other things that we can do with bivariate data but let's start by answering these questions okay well we have one more uh, data set we have milligrams of sodium so I'm just gonna type in sodium Remember, we always want to label the tops of these columns. All right, whoops, uh, delete that. And let's start entering our values. So again, I enter my values. 495, enter. 477, enter. 425, and again, hit enter. 322, enter. 482, enter, 587, enter, 370, enter, and 322. Okay, well we need to find that uh, correlation coefficient. And in order to do that, we're going to have to analyze it. So we'll go to our menu, and we're going to Statistics, and we're going to go to Statistical Calculations and we got to pick a linear function. Uh, either one is pretty much the same. Uh, in statistics we often use this a plus bx, so I'll select that. Now I'm going to designate my x list and that will be my calories and my y list which will be the amount of sodium. We'll click OK. Alright, there's a whole bunch of data. Now uh, I'll go over what some of this means. Our first thing here, this is the formula, a plus b times x. This gives us the value for a. This gives us the value for b, or the slope. The next one, r squared, is the, uh, I believe it's coefficient of determination. We don't uh, use that. It's beyond the scope of this class, but we'll go down. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the r. The r is the correlation coefficient. So we take that number and we round it to the nearest hundredth. If we look in the thousandths place, we see that's a two. Oops. And we would uh, round that to 94 hundredths. That would be our answer. Now, explain what that coefficient suggests. Well, for one thing, a coefficient of 94 suggests it's a good fit. But we need to talk about the context of the problem. Well, what's going on here? Well, as the number of calories rise, so do the milligrams of sodium. So we need to give that context to get full credit for this problem. I'm going to just uh, go down one more. And you see all these values here when I mouse over this. Um, those are the individual residuals for each of the data plots. So if we look at the first one, the difference between the predicted value and the actual value is, is it's off, it's under by 11.68 and so on. So if you ever need the residuals, but I haven't seen that come up. Now, beyond that, I'd like to move over to some other things here. And I'd like to just look at this view or this data viewed on 
a, a scatter plot. So I'm going to add a page. And here's where I use the data and statistics. And you'll see all my values plotted here. Now this is kind of neat because this demonstrates how different pages within a document can relate to each other. Because now I defined a variable in the, uh, in the spreadsheet. I'm going to click and I'm going to make my x-axis calories and you'll see the data fall into place. And my y will be my sodium and there we go. We can see our data displayed. Now let's go back and plot the uh, linear and then we're going to look at the residuals here. So, so we're going to go to analyze and we are going to uh, show Regress, uh, regression show the linear we'll do the same thing and there we go now let's look at a plot of residuals let's see if I can remember how to do this and we have plot and we go down to analyze and there's residuals and I'm going to show the residual plot so there we go we can see the residuals here now remember when we're looking at a plot of residuals we should see something that's random Let's examine this. Is this random? Actually, it sort of looks like a parabola, which suggests that maybe a quadratic equation would be a better fit. We did have a good correlation coefficient, r equals 94 hundredths, and so that wasn't a bad fit, but this suggests we might try something else. So I'm going to now plot another uh, line here. So we're going to go to Menu, Analyze, Regressions, and I'm going to try a quadratic. Ooh, look, okay, that changed it. It looks like we have a better fit. And see how it changed the residuals. We no longer see a pattern here. So we know that that quadratic equation is a bit of a better fit. We could also put in an exponential equation as well. I'm not going to do that, but I just wanted to show you how to relate the table uh, spreadsheet with the statistical document, how we can manipulate this, and how we can observe the graph of the residuals and make some decisions based upon that.